Hi, I'm Ed. Oh, and that's 18-year-old me at the helm on my Clipper Race Circumnavigation. Let's skip 10 years and this is now me, 28 years old, trading highways for sea days. Step on board and welcome to Sailing Optimist. Home sweet home. On this week's episode, we get ourselves out for the first time. Yes. Finally doing it. Have a slight toilet disaster. <laughs> Niece has come around to visit. Who's in my bed? And my friend thought I brought soupy up. Wait, so they missed themselves? But to top it off, we got a ferry to the pub to enjoy a nice beer. Sit back, relax, and welcome to Sailing Optimist. Last night was really windy. There's been a few storms hitting the UK and, um, and I've woken up and there's a beautiful sunrise. And it's dead calm out here. The birds are flying around and you get up and you have one cup of tea. And it's, it's cold, don't get me wrong, it's still freezing. That's why I'm sat here with Jessica. Um, but it's like, this is why I moved onto a boat. Like these mornings are just peaceful and calm. Also, a really good cup of tea. Just want to add that, a really, really good cup of tea. Yorkshire tea, I swear by it. If anyone gives you Tetley's, any of that garbage, throw that overboard. Yorkshire tea. Here, he's in my bed. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> he's in my bed. <laughs> Is someone in here? <laughs> So I'm currently in the heads and last night I had um, a couple of friends around and I taught them through the procedure of using the toilet. They used slightly too much toilet roll and now I have the joy of undoing it and taking out the pipe. Obviously where they are plumbed in, they are, uh, there's no room ever to do any work on them. And if you all heard that noise, that was the noise of water and urine and all the stuff in the toilet. I've disconnected the main outlet pipe and in here I'm going to have to hook out whatever's in there. But as you can see, there's literally no space on this boat. I'm going to find a coat hanger and I'm going to unwire it and see what I can drag out. So I've got one of these bendy coat hangers. Um, they are awful for your clothes, but they do make very malleable rods for, uh, for shoving down pipes. Thankfully, the shower pump has saved the day. That was my head. <sighs> so that was pretty gross. But um, I think what I've done is I've unlocked it, which is good. But because I tried to use the hand pump to uh, do it initially, I think I've busted the hand pump, uh, which is a relatively straightforward replacement, but it's just very annoying. Gosh, this is really in. I need a better angle of this <sighs> I love my life and that is why I chose to live on the boat. That everyone is the pump and that's what's been replaced. One new pump that went upwards. I went on to replace the pump and still to no avail. This is a much bigger issue and sometimes the smallest things on boats turn out to be the biggest and most complicated things. But that does not stop me from heading out to sea. I'm really looking forward to reading my book on here and it feels like that is not the plan for today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, lead videographer. <laughs> what are your first impressions of Sailing Optimus? And you can't, like, genuinely, give me time to work up and I will think of some answers. You okay, know how awkward three, two, I am. one, go! I have to get the fenders in. Okay, oh yeah. Wait, so they lift themselves? <laughs> what? Look at, is that what you were doing? That's the autopilot. <laughs> I was like, what fancy boat is this? We're not able to lift the fenders for ourselves. Cool. Thank you. We were gonna go and anchor today at the Witterings um, and have a nice day at anchor, but my breaker has broken on the windlass, so it's not allowing the power to connect. So that's gotta get replaced. So instead, doing one better. We are heading over to Itchner, it's a beautiful little part in the Chichester Harbour. Um, we're going to head over there, it's about two hours from where we are at the moment. <laughs> the look on Kirsty's face. Because she is having to wee in a bucket today because the heads are still currently broken 
Whereas, uh, obviously, I'm a guy, so I can um, do my business elsewhere. It's my first coffee on board this boat. Very excited to have coffee, fresh espresso on board Optimus. Uh, that. that is a strong espresso. Oh, this is like acid. So which way are we turning? We're going around this cardinal mark here. There's a photographer on that boat. <laughs> <I'm so right. laughs> are you enjoying your uh, hot cross bun? Oh, no. You're getting me when I'm eating. <laughs> Very good hot cross bun. It actually baffles me how people aren't out here. Like it's a glorious day. There's no boats, minus the one behind me. Um, so nice, and the sun is shining. I would say it's like a good like 12 degrees. We're dressed up, warm. On our way to the pub, favourite place to be. We're just coming to the harbour now. I'm going to grab a visitor's boy. Hopefully, the little ferry is running, and then we're going to get going to get to shore and have some lunch at the pub. But if not, I'm pumping up the dinghy. So much for going. So much. Yeah, I feel very <laughs> optimistic. That's optimistic. Way. Really <laughs> itching a ferry, itching a ferry, itching a ferry. This is sending optimist over. Yeah, go ahead. Hi, yeah, we're just on the itching a visitor's uh, jetty. Is it possible to get a ride over to the pontoon, please? Bye, Optimist. This ferry's been actually going since I was a kid, and it's like a lifesaver. You can like moor up on any mooring, or like on a visitor's berth, and then you come to pick you up. And it runs in the summer, like every weekend, like 10 to 4, and then um, also runs like throughout the entire summer, and it's just fantastic. Uh, it makes the trips like this a lot easier when you have to take your dinghy. Very, very grateful. Percy's loving it. <laughs> Time to put up the headsail. I've been meaning to do this, but the wind's been quite high, so it's quite light. We head to wind where we're moored, and uh, Kirsty and I are going to give it a go, aren't we, Kirst? So you'll be you'll be pulling this, yeah. And that'll be going. The sail will be going up here. This sail has got to go upstairs. So. Yeah. So when I was 17, a good friend of mine actually taught me how to tie a bowline in a way that I've never seen before. And at night, it's like imperative that you can tie this knot. It's like a lifesaver. So it's over, under, round, through the hole, and pull tight and you've got a perfect bowling. I don't have to look, you can feel it. So I'll try and teach you that at some point. The moment of truth, if I've rigged this correctly. Yes! Finally doing it. What a sad little life, Jane. <laughs> very, very exciting. We are finally sailing fully under sails. She's a beauty. Bit of a race at the moment. My girl, she is sailing into the sunset, literally. It's the pinch me moment for the first time. This is having a Head sails up, main sails out, engines off. She's sailing under her own steam after a fantastic day in the water. It could not have really ended any better. Like I'm so, 
so grateful, so happy, so excited. We're currently racing with two boats here. Got a beautiful subway over here. I'm not too sure about that boat over there. But um this is this is why I'm doing it. This is this is living. This is living. slightly confused. I'm in a blue water cruiser. They're in racing. We've got a Subly, which is like very beautifully balanced boat. And we've got a racing boat behind us, but obviously our sail trim is banging. Um, they are over trimmed. Just thought I'd put that out there. But we've stormed along and we've like got a full tank of water, full tank of gas, fully loaded with my whole life. Well, I'm Kirsty. It's all you. This journey of life is definitely turning out to be an adventurous one and one I thought I could only dream of. If you want to come along for the journey, please subscribe, like, give us a follow and head to our Instagram where I give daily updates on what's going on on Sailing Optimist. And until next week, keep those dreams alive because they're the things that drive us in life. <laughs>